It's your food, get your snacks. Okay, we're gonna be on a road trip. This is a road trip game. And so best to have some food next to you. Deluxe content, thank you for purchasing the ducks. Okay, guys. I did not, uh, full disclosure. Full disclosure, this was a game key provided to me. And I'm very happy, very happy, very grateful. They gave me a game key to try the game out and play it on Steam. I play it on stream. But we'll get access to, it seems, uh, some paint. So I guess we get some more paint. But it is this uh, kind of retro style. Good to see a Nor welcome in. Good to see people who are on the YouTube side. Welcome in, guys. Good to see you. Good to have you. Yeah, the frames are dropping a little bit. Let me give me give me one second to fix that. I gotta go to the settings. There's a couple things I need to do. First and foremost, I need to turn on streamer safe mode. Okay. And then I need to turn on this. And then we will, uh, let's see, turn off the motion blur. Turn down the, the graphics a little, little bit. Turn down, just a, just a smidge, okay? Nothing crazy. It, it's, I don't know if it's necessarily gonna be, you know, super crazy. Let's see, uh, turn up the FOB a little bit, just a little bit of FOB. Find that helps a little bit with, uh, Accessibility, I'm gonna turn off camera bobbing and tool bobbing. So it will look a little weird since I'm gonna you know it look a little weird, but that's that's the way it is. I, I think it'll help with the people who are watching it. Tumble hiding. Close eyes when you're inside a tumbling car. Okay, I don't know I probably should do that. Reduce flickering reduce flickering visuals, sure, we'll turn that on. Fade screen when entering or exiting a car. Hey, okay, so this is for. Yeah, I, I don't want you. I don't want you guys to get motion sick, because as a driver, as the person playing it, it doesn't make you me motion sick. But as a viewer, I think it would help. We call this aesthetic. It's kind of like, yeah, it's like kind of like a post, like a dystopic. You know, it, it's it's still kind of like vintage retroy. In some ways. Okay, I don't know if any of these will help. Color deficiency mode. I, I think it's fine as a player. Maybe, we, like, like you know. I apologize if you are colorblind, but I don't think it'll impact the gameplay or like the visuals that much. Vintage Fallout. Brighter nights. Sure, we'll turn on brighter nights so you guys can see. Reduce the fog density a little bit and rain particles a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna cap frame rate in a second. Don't worry. If there's a frame rate capping ability, I will probably do it in a second. You don't have to worry. Uh, a lie. This is not my very first time playing a game on Steam or stream. But contrary to popular belief, I know it can be, you know, surprising. Are we there yet? No, we're not. If if it if it keeps lagging, yes. Okay, apply video settings. Yes. There we go. Good. Yeah, the, the minimal lag on the VTube Studio side. Yeah, fantastic. Smooth like butter. Sp fantastic. Yeah, you just need to turn down the settings a little bit. I don't want it to mount too too much, but I think the, it detracts from the way the game looks. Fantastic. Motion blur, yeah, turn off motion blur, that shit sucks. Motion blur is by far the nastiest shit in the world. I don't know why they do it for every single game. But, uh, you know. I, I, I'm sure I guess someone likes it. <laughs> I don't think any, I, it's like, oh, you know, for the, for the immersion or something, but, like, it's not immersive to, you know, it's not like a good game experience to get flashbanged. <laughs> Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like real life, guys. I play games, you know, for it to get flashbanged. IRL. That's what I love. 
Okay, let me just move my camera a little bit. Turn it up a little bit. So people who want to ruin the game, you know, that's what I'm saying, man. You know, it also doesn't look good for a viewer either. But uh, this is a cool game, guys. We play this during Steam Next Fest. It is a driving. It is a driving. Uh, survival game with horror elements. I will say there are some points in the game where you may feel, as a player, you may feel uh, possibly at risk of dying. Just like all survival games though, you know, like, would you consider Minecraft a horror game? In my opinion, the DLSS isn't the greatest for this one either. Okay, I can turn it down a little bit as well. If it's not so great, I mean, it's already at zero. I'll, I'll just keep it at zero. Yeah. Slight horror, sometimes, you know, you'll be interrupted from your very casual grinding experience. I will say that for the most part, though, if you like, if you like gathering resources, this is a cool game to do so. And they do, the tutorial uh, does a good job, and we'll play through it again, just so people who are new here, there's probably a lot of people who are new here, who have seen the game before, can get a grasp of the game. The case of Minecraft is horror itself. That's what I'm saying, right? It's like, it's like, I would say Minecraft might be, to some people, mild horror. You know, you people have been jump scared in Minecraft before, but is Minecraft a horror game? Not really. Same with this one as well. But if we drive, a couple, a couple save slots. As you can see, it's kind of like, like the retro, the retro newspaper feel. New game. Customize your settings? Okay, we already did that. The volume, I hope, is okay. Traveling? Exciting, man. I love this. The aesthetic of this game? Minecraft is scary in places. So true. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did the stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and something else entirely. I didn't read it. 1955. The government walled off a section of the Plinza to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Better trees in the Pokemon game. Alright guys, don't dog on Pokemon every chance you get. You know, it's obvious that the trees in Pokemon are not good. Oh god, it's not a high bar to jump over. Oh god, dude. What happened inside was never disclosed. As you can see, it's it, it's kind of actually got like a... The game kind of reminds me of... of like Firewatch. If you guys have ever played that game as well. It's kind of got the same vibes. Hold on, did I turn down the... Hold on. Before I start, I need to make sure. Did I turn off the copyright music? Okay, streamer safe mode is on. Okay, good. Just making sure, because... <laughs> uh, I don't want to get this, uh, this video destroyed on YouTube. Because uh, it, it will happen. Honestly, the, the, the video, the game started at a pretty good volume. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit so you can hear the dialogue more over the, the radio. Edith Finch? Dude, I still have to play Edith Finch. That's a game on my list. It looks so good. 90% of the songs are made for the game. And the artist says the other version. That's very cool, man. Super sick. Just going on a you know, drive, guys. In the great old... American wilderness. But there are like some copyright songs, right, in this game? If you played... The wow. This is an original song? Whoops. <laughs> this be a car accident? No, guys, don't worry. I would never crash my own car. 
but I will I will GTA drive, okay? You might what am I? Lights not turned on. There you go. Bruise, cruise past the police. Same. Yeah, I will say the game in this, the, the controls in this game were not meant for a keyboard and mouse. Like, you can feel how jerky it is for me to just tap the left and right mouse key. But if you were on gamepad, I think you'd feel much better using the joystick. To control your car. But we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a little bit of GTA driving. Okay? Unlike in Euro Truck Simulator, I don't have to follow the law. I'll break the law if I want. Those wing mirrors? What wing mirrors? Oh, yeah. Probably at some points, there might be some chase sequences. Dude, the oh shit! In a hydroplane, maybe. <laughs> you never know, guys. My driving skill is, uh, you know, questionable at best. Also, it's strange. It keeps panning my camera like down to the, down to the left. Like, I'm not moving the cam. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Uh, just tr try not to die. Challenge. Trying to get abducted challenge. Oh, don't don't worry, guys. It's just uh, you know, the way the road looks. Oh shit. Oh shit. North of Washington things? Yeah, man. Just me getting abducted for no reason. Holy hell. Uh, I guess I'm, uh, I'm gone, guys. Just to a totally normal Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Ah. Uh, shit. Dude, I'm like the guy. You Have you seen that one guy who, like, cosplays, like, as, like, someone's dad? And then, like... Pretends to drive a car in like a Euro truck simulator or whatever and then like crashes his car <laughs> I'm that guy What the hell is this 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 can't be normal right fine transportation I think I'm going a little bit far What the hell is this? Crouch control? I'll be honest, I don't remember this part from the... From the game fest. Did they add this scene from the game next fest? Cause I don't remember this, uh... This part at all. Did they have a kick button before too? Oh, coming out there? Hello. Okay, hold on. It was in the demo, I, I might- I might just be stupid. Let me turn the music down. And the sound up, so we can hear this, the the voice. Huh. What a swan, eh? Uh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Put the wheel back on. Where's the free wheel? Oh, here. Pick up, please. Hello? E? 
Huh? Oh, there we go. Get in the car. Start the engine. Just conveniently a key. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid-zone sector B. Do you read me? I don't read you. I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. He's salty. Hey, Francis, come here! Yeah, yes, Francis. Urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Hey, I'm not a something, I'm a someone. Thank you. I'm a very normal guy. Hey, we got a live one! Uh, hey, do you copy? Uh, I would copy if Hello? I didn't crash my car. Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing Yeah, we can't talk to huh. them. But if they're stranded, could they, I mean... Outer zone? They're from outside? They're a breacher? <laughs> Hey, hey, They're a breacher. The don't wall? call me no that. No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's going to scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. You close the shelter as a Check few your miles trunk for fuel can. Get there however you can and be uh, quick about it. Excuse me? Put the, put the thing in park f before I roll off the side of the edge of the thing? Check my trunk, okay? My trunk got nothing. Oh, there's the fuel can. Siphon the fuel from the broken car. Don't mind if I do. Yoink. Very conveniently, you know, very convenient broken car on the side of the road with a full fuel tank. The car's exploded, but the fuel is all fine. Very normal occurrence. The sun driver, I guess not, guys. You know? I mean, I'm more concerned that the car is blown up. Oh, shit. I didn't feel it all the way. I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. 40%. Okay, we got we gotta go. Uh we gotta go. This is bad, right? Whoa, 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 wait, hold the phone. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? No, we're good, Chad. We'd never get killed by static. Be? We'd never reference? get killed by static. That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. That would Look never that happen. Look fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this breacher seems to be moving. Yeah, we're in a uh, car, obviously. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant, and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages! Boy, I'm killed to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there! Okay, let's not get I actually just found ourselves. this car. First, the breacher I, I did. To I literally did hydroplane. Into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby! No, we're good. Don't even worry. When you find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. I'll be ain't gonna like your poke. Don't even worry, there, guys. Better to face a bad side See, we're the, the best. You alive. We're the best around. No one's ever gonna take me down. Did I just drive through? Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, sorry about your door. Sorry about your, uh, sorry about your, sorry about, sorry about your door, sorry about that, sorry, sorry. Find a way into the building. I'm just gonna, you know, pull in here. 
You know, dude, put the car into park and turn off the engine. Don't want to waste fuel, chat. Here we are. This is, uh, the auto shop. Looking like it's locked. Is someone's toilet? <laughs> oh god, don't worry guys, don't worry. Oh. Okay, this one's locked too. So we need to find a, a different way in. Uh, nice, you, dude, you know, conveniently the back door is open. Conveniently, flip the breaker switch. Let's close the back door. I don't like that open. Oh. Who's there? It's me. The shop. God, it's been breached. Yeah, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Oh, my head. Pick the backpack. Emergency broadcast. Oh, it's over here. Hello. Uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We've sent a breacher to your garage on um. Official zone business. Now we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car. And well, uh, oh. yeah, on the remnant thing, she's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Oh, that voice, just like a nail gun to the skull. So, <laughs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped. Through. Yeah. I. Wait. I just remembered. I didn't do this on purpose. Give a damn why or how you got here. I I'm didn't do that on purpose. And I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my Hey, I, I'm, um, you know, accident, man. I. <sighs> I didn't ask to be here. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Just a free wheel? I don't know how the wheel... Some people just don't like... I agree, man. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, I'm a random guy that showed up out of the blue and this auto shop belongs to some like 70 year old woman and I just like you went inside without asking so find a f craft a replacement door add to your list crude door okay open the headset OS blueprints crude door pin to checklist see Okay, so I need to now gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage. Okay, search the abandoned car's trunk. Okay, I need a pry bar. Search the toolbox for a pry bar. Okay, conveniently a toolbox here. Don't mind if I do, yoink. Yoink. Pry bar. Pry it open. Some, this is useless. Couple fuses, road flares, and some glass shards, okay. Gather items from the abandoned car behind. Search the dumpster by the garage for crucial parts. The friendly dumpster. The Just shout out some shit. Thank you, friendly dumpster. Anything else? The friendly dumpster has nothing else to give me. But it gave me a, a saw. What's it, glass shards? Because glass shards can be repurposed into other glass. Scrap the abandoned car's wheels, panels. Bam. Yoink. Oh, this feels good. Scrap. 
scrap, so I just break everything about this abandoned car? And then take it as my own? Dude! Oh, there's a fuel tank. I can steal its fuel probably later. But I love pillaging. It's my favorite part about the world. The best part about the world is you can just steal shit. Yoink. It's like a fantastical approach, right? Is this a computer? Check the ground and the trunk for remaining materials. Okay. Check the ground and the trunk. I think we're good. Get the items in the abandoned car with checklist. So I have them all. I'm missing one, one thing. Oh, it's right here. Cool. And now I can craft the replacement door. So I can craft it? How do I craft? In the shop. Okay, at the ta- obviously at the table. Obviously at the table. I'm the smart. Install the crude door. Bam. Repair the car's body. Get the repair putty from the locker. Get the repair putty from the locker? That's my guy. Okay, we're kind of stuck. Okay, do, do a little bit of inventory management. Okay, so it can only fit inside the, like, the certain area. Cool. <laughs> guy who's only ever played just the Minecraft? Wow, this is just like Minecraft? Yeah. What is this? What do I have in my hand? Oh, that's the first aid kit. Put the repair putty in my hand. Bum. And it just, it just repairs it. Cool. Put the, put on the crude door. Dude, I wish, I wish car repair was this easy. You could just like throw putty. On stuff and it would just repair the car. I wish it was this easy in real life. I would never go to an auto shop ever again. Okay. And the tire gets some as well. Fantastic. There we go. Nice. Scan the flat tire. C to scan. Fix with the ceiling kit. Repair for the flat by crafting using ceiling kit or replace the flat with the fair, spare tire from the locker. I think we're gonna try to f craft a ceiling kit. Ceiling kit. Craft. And now we have a ceiling kit. And we shall use a ceiling kit on this thing. Yeah, that's how it works. I just shoot it. I just shoot a flat tire and it repairs itself, as per usual. Scan the loose wheel. Scan. I can fix the loose wheel with a mechanics kit. Equip the mechanics kit. Where? This guy? Bing bing. Nice. Outfit the car. With what? Install the cardboard boxes in the trunk? E? <laughs> That'll do it. Damn, we're so ready to, uh, to go, guys. Install the craft mat in the trunk. Dude, it wouldn't be so easy. A nice little crafting area kit. Oh, <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Oh my god, I'm like the police? This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, Let's go, you should dude. consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying Me, alive. I have God? That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. Nice. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. I'm pretty sure I can craft a door, right? I can probably craft a trunk. Crude door? Maybe a door would work here? Maybe? Can I craft another door? Craft panel? Craft crude door? I'm missing some duct tape? 
So I, I guess I can't. I guess we're gonna go uh, doorless for now. I don't know if this actually matters or not, but didn't ask me to front to grab it. Blueprint gear. Okay. Maybe this is the door. Pick up the impact hand. Okay. Pick up the impact hammer. Impact hammer? Use the pump to... Oh, free, this is free fuel. This is free fuel? No money required? I'm dropping frames? I'm suddenly just dropping frames for no reason? What the hell happened? Huh? It's because it's it's because it's raining outside. It's because it's raining outside. Stop raining, chat. Stop the raining. The rain is killing me. I wish it wouldn't rain. It's only when the game. Is, well, yeah, I think it just it started raining randomly, and now I have to turn this down. I would love it if I didn't have to. Where's my uh, frame rate capper? Where's the capping the frame rate button? They won't let me, guys. They won't let me. I can only turn down some effects, maybe. Okay, rest in peace. Rest in peace, my model chat. At least the, the game is not frame rate die, right? Rain accessibility? Sure, let's try that. Uh, d lower vision. Vision? What weather? Rain particle... Cool. Yeah, the game is... As long as the game is fine, I don't really care. As long as the game is fine, it's whatever. I will suffer the consequences. It did not help a fucking wee ball. Switch the battery charge. Put the battery to charge the battery. Okay, cool. Oh, what the hell? Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to drop it. Okay. Flip the switch. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Okay. So how do I make the... Uh, I need to make the impact hammer, right? Maybe I was wrong? This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. Okay. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. So basically miles this is grass like... can turn into 10 miles of swamp in the blink of an eye. And it in does more reason. Constantly. It's an in more reason for random generation. We call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. Okay. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking okay. a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octopus in your car pick will a route. show you where you need to go. I only have one route to pick. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Okay. I guess we have no car. Okay, let's put, let's put some stuff away, shall we? Put some stuff away. In the locker. Uh, or sorry, in the, in the back of the trunk. Okay, we have we have quite a bit of space. Let's put some stuff in the trunk. So we don't have to carry all this stuff. Like we don't need to be carrying like 17 you know parts. Like med kit maybe I'll carry it. Repair putty doesn't need to be in there. I don't know why this uh this she has a heart on it. It does it love me or something? Why does the scrapper love me? No way with the heart beans. But it, I think it loves me. So we'll go with that. Cool. Let's get into the car. Ah, oh, should we steal some fuel? Can I steal some fuel? 
Maybe not. How do I how do I siphon? Steal from this guy, I guess. <laughs> you and I steal. Nice. That's good enough. Let's go. Take me for a ride. Okay, get on the road. Oh, there's just so much stuff in my car now. Jesus. It was like empty like just a second ago and now it's like stuck. So does this car door actually matter? Do I need a back door? <laughs> it didn't ask me to make one, so I'm gonna assume no for now. Get on the road and make a left, she said, right? I'm gonna assume we're fine. I'm sure it's whatever. If it flies out, it flies out. Oh, it, it went dark. Okay. Three hours to get to JCTE5 radio station. I'll be honest, chat. I played the tutorial for this game, like, not a few weeks ago, or like, less than a month and a half ago, I think. And... I don't remember... I don't remember, uh... Half of what happened. No, you don't drive... The, the, the driving happens in the node. So it's kind of like a... Like a roguelike, where you go into the map. Like, you, you just, like, fast travel to the next map. And then, like, inside the map, you drive around. So the maps are pretty big. But the actual driving to the destination is not the, the, the point of the game. The point of the game is dri driving within and, like, getting stuff. Guy who only ever plays roguelikes? Dude, that's me. I only ever played roguelikes. Hard left, Samir. Samir, hard left. Listen to me, Samir. Listen to me. <laughs> so good. This is different? Yeah, it's it's a it's a different kind of game. Okay, here we are. Oh, it's fucking gorgeous. JCT, help me. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay. I guess we're here. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay, let's see. Find and scan a plasma generator. So th I assume it's this guy. Recommended. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the Impact picking. hammer. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. So I need to find materials for an impact hammer. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Anything else I can open? Oh! Yoink, yoink. You belong to me now. Oh! Transmuter. Don't mind if I do. What is this? Anomaly studies. I can read this? Oh, open. Okay. Logbook. Here we go. Oh my god, there's so many. Uh, can I just read the lore that I just got instead? I just wanted to read the lore. I didn't want to go here. I just wanted to know about the lore. Anomaly studies. While this anomaly cannot strictly be described as humanoid, it has nonetheless gained the moniker... Okay, you. Out in the zone, all on your own. Uh, they go so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Uh, Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. <laughs> They're bickering like an old married couple. Francis to death. Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. It's, they, they, have, they have some kind of like, you know... Some some past relationship, a little bit rocky, maybe. I, I kind of felt like I was better off not reading that. Arda Cat reference three six three. While this anomaly cannot strictly be described as humanoid, it has nevertheless gained the moniker Hat Man, and a slew of distant sightings describe a first impression of a tall person in a hat and a coat. 
Sightings are consistent in their description of a tall, thin shape moving or just above ground level. At or just above ground level with a broad, low hat-like top above an almost cone-like tapered lower structure. This can give the impression of a wide-shouldered figure. No sightings of this anomaly have occurred since June of 1963. That's, that's good, guys. However, at this time, many zone personnel gained the report, began to report extremely consistent dreams of something similar entering their homes. I was better off not reading that chat. I'll be honest. I could have got my whole life not reading that. <laughs> and now I'm stuck with the knowledge of... Now I'm stuck with the knowledge of that. You hate the hat man? No, I don't hate the hat man. I'm just saying, you know, if the hat man ends up killing me, it's not my fault. In fact, it might be yours. Okay. So we can craft an impact hammer, right? We need to let's we need to find duct tape and fabric. So I guess we'll go in here. Crowbar. Nothing a crowbar can fix. Uh, what is happening to my to my screen? Hazmat cabin. Computer? Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind. Until That's not they go good, crazy right? And run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been That's able to good. resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. But we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... Uh, and now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Okay, we can make this guy. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Okay, sure. Whatever that means. So basically, what? Is there like a quick way to trans transfer? There we go, nice. So did I make the impact hammer or no? I feel, I feel like I, I made it, no? Is it in my inventory? Huh? I feel like I just made it. <laughs> well, what happened to it? Did it go into a box? It just it just ate my hammer? Oh, I saw the first aid selected. Are you serious? Are you so oh, fuck? Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Fuck. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. You can just craft so two gears out of the mats? Okay, cool. Loot away. Let me quickly check out this building first. Okay, how do I get in? I might be able to need to break the wall. Okay, let's craft a few gears. So I can just craft the gears, huh? If I in have impact hammer, I can just craft the gears necessary required to make it. Craft, craft, impact hammer, craft. And now we should have it. There we go. That's my boy. Okay, so now I now I break this shit, huh? Don't mind if I do. And I assume this guy too. Oh, I, I you can, oh, that's what F to kick, right? Uh, excuse me. 
There we go. So what is inside this thing that makes me danger? There's like some dude in there, huh? He's like a... He's like a weird dude. Radiation? F to kick? Let's go. Scan? Can I take you? Oh, I can use the, scra uh, the scrapper on you. Yoink. Garbage can? I uh, don't mind if I do. I am a trash goblin. Of course, leaks out back. Always check out back for gear and free stuff. Because there's always something out back for you to steal. Can I scrap you as well? Nope. Don't try to scrap boxes, it doesn't work. Oh, there's something right here. Why can't I pick it up? Hold on. I- Huh? Please! There's- it, it, Dude, it's shining? <laughs> Please! Okay. This house? Can I bust open the door? Uh, uh. Okay, you can't bust open the door. Bro, I'll take this. Crowbar. Dude. Maybe the crowbar opens this? Nope. Okay, that was a bust. So far, so peaceful. I need to get some more plasma. Okay, so in this area, we've collected a number of plasma and I need to, I guess I need to find some more. So as, as of currently, I have two plasma. So I'm going to assume that whatever that means is not good. We're going to get the hell out of Dodge, I think. I think we're going to go to the next location. So we're here, there's a couple more houses we can find over here to loot. We gotta find a number of more plasma. Oh, that's, oh, hold on. Pause. They're telling me to get replacement parts. I forgot I can scrap this car. I forgot I can break cars down and shit. Completely forgot about that. See, it's a very peaceful game, guys. Oh, this is a panel, okay? See, so far, no threats at all. We're looking pretty good. Other than the radiation guy in here, which was kind of rude. Uh, whatever. Okay, so would, would this count as a door? It would count as a door. Nice. Okay, we got a back door, guys. Got a back door, maybe a panel. Nice. I think I have a fuel, I think I have a full fuel tank, yeah. We have a full fuel tank, so I don't have to siphon it. Looking like we're missing another panel and a... And a headlight. So let's make another panel here. Look at that, guys! Our car is looking good! I mean, as good as good gets. For middle of nowhere. What is this? Abilities equipped. How come it still says my... My back door doesn't exist? Did I close? Did I keep it open? No, ah. Okay. Me when I don't know how to drive a car in a video game? Let's back out of here. As I said, let's back out of here. 
then along the road to this side should be some more stuff we can get. Dude, this is sick, man. I love this game. Ooh, that seems not dangerous at all. That seems uh, very safe. Glittering boulder. Glittering boulder? Uh, okay. I should have read the- I should have read the case file first. I'll be honest. I should have read the case file first. What did you do? Uh, I didn't do anything. It's not my- it's not my fault. Whatever just happened is not my fault. You good? I'm not good. I had a boulder explode in my face. I would say I'm far from fine. Oh, there's more of this, this shit here. Okay. Oh, but it's kind of like reactive, huh? Let's get the impact hammer out. Uh... Excuse me? Uh, huh? Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, not dangerous whatsoever. Free stuff. What did you do? Uh, listen, guys, I'm just a guy. Yeah, nothing, you know, a little electricity never hurt nobody. A little extra parts never hurt nobody. Dude, shit just makes noise, man. Let's keep on going. Let me go ahead and run to these guys. And collect them on foot. And then we'll go back to the car. This is kind of dangerous, man. It, like, shocks you and shit. Okay, sick. And... Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower... Uh, okay, up thanks. ...up on a hill somewhere. I'll be honest, this, uh, this... The weird, like, Aurora Borealis wall doesn't really... Instill a sense of safety with me. Kind of feels like I might die at any moment. So this is where I need to go. I need to eventually make it there. There's a bunch of houses over here too. Which we might as well go along the way. Cool. And just like pick shit up, huh? Just gotta loot everything we, as we can. Cause you never know when you're gonna need stuff. Yeah, we're, we're probably gonna like ignore the... Aurora wall. Sounds- it seems to be like a dangerous thing to do. Uh, we're going to ignore this guy as well. Introduction, play, logbook. Your car is your shield. This car can protect you from radiation anomalies and many other dangers in the site. Play? How do I play this? Introductions. How do I play this? Intr back at the helm. Introductions. Oh, shit. My, my. Where are our manners? Uh, driver. We never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh, and, um, <laughs> here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. 
we live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Oh, and, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology. The maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident party pooper. Okay, that's it? That's all you're gonna give me? Oh, come on, really? Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car okay. are inseparable now, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed. We, we with did hear this, yes. I'm just listening to it again. The victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was. And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Okay, this is a danger Anything guy. Okay, we're not going that guy. Broadcast directly and immediately we're not going to danger guy. Headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at Thank your leisure. You. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. <laughs> low priority, dude. Me when? Okay. So that guy's probably not good, right? Like, not safe for life? Let's just try to ignore this guy. As long as he doesn't see us, it's okay. Dude, they're everywhere, man. A little bit of off-roading. Let's go. A little bit of off-roading never hurt nobody. That, that guy can't see us, it's all good. It seems like the plasma's been stolen from here. It's locked? Not for... Not for long, it's not locked. Bump! Let's go. I break into any house I see. I'm a criminal. Do I have a flashlight, guys? Do I have a flashlight? It's so dark in here. I got f oh I got I got flares. That's right, I got flares. Bum. I I should light the flare. I should light the flare before throwing it. Inventory full. Of course it is. Of Of course it is. Why is it just... Why, why... Why... Why he... Why he doing that? Why, can you guys... Can you guys leave? Could you guys, uh... D go somewhere else? I would love to see... You know, to know that you guys could just... I think he might be... Is it the flare? T take the flare with me? I can't. 
Okay, as, as soon as those two guys leave, I'll leave. But he doesn't seem to be interested in leaving. He seems to be anti-interested in leaving. Alright. I just had more stuff in here to, to steal, that's why. I didn't want to leave without my stuff. Cool, nice. And now, once he leaves, I will leave. Once he leaves, I will get the hell out of here. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to encroach on your territory. I really don't want to find out, you know, what the guy is up to. I'm, I'm all good. I think I'm good to never find out. What? Okay, he destroyed me. I should probably use a healing item before I kill myself. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just taking random damage for no reason. I'll be honest with you. I'm not the, the most survival instinct guy in this world. I'll be the first to tell you that. Okay, so far so good. I don't know if I need to like turn my car off every time, but it, it seems fuel efficient. So I do go this way. Although there is like a floating bit of furniture and rocks here, a couple chairs. Just a random barrel in the middle of the road, yeah. I can make it, I just, uh, you know, making sure we don't die. I could scrap this car too, but I think it's uh, not necessary. Just leave this guy, you know? Like, free gas station? Don't mind if I bust into this free gas station? This is a gas station bathroom? That radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Eyes huh? to the horizon. Why did it do that? Why, why did it do that? That's not normal, right? Can I take this backpack with me? No. Ooh, free TV. Yoink. Any gas station is free, the tenants flood the area. Exactly. Exactly, this all belongs to me now. Uh, I think I should leave probably pretty soon. Not to be that guy, but it seems to be not much in here that I can actually loot. And also, the ground keeps coming up. I think it's telling me that it doesn't like me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, go off on a limb. And get the hell out of here. Uh. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Nah, 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 nope, nope, nope. <laughs> 
Did you see the uh, the way? It, did you see the way it moved in front of my cam while I was looking away for like one second? <laughs> the way the way they all turned around to face me. Nah, nah, nah. I'm good. I'm okay. Why would you do that to me, man? Only mild horror, exactly. Nothing crazy. So it is this way, right? Yeah, it is this way. Okay, good. Here we are, guys. We made it. Oh, shit. We made it to the, the tower. This is where we need to be. Let's see ours. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. Okay. It'll get you back to the garage. But it needs to be charged first. Discomfort and game. To do that you'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. Discomfort game. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. Scrapper Sean. Out of here soon, so there's no reason to look more Scrapper Sean. Than you need to know. I might as well, you know, scrap this car while we're here, right? I might as well scrap this car while, while I'm here. It's free money, you know? I'd be doing a disservice if I didn't take all the things uh, that were given to me by, by God on this green earth. Cool. Discomfort game. Okay, I mean, that's a lot of stuff, man. Got a lot of stuff. Look at all of this stuff. So we need this, huh? We need this, uh, this is what we came here for, the transmission. The broadcast transmitter. Okay, so now... Our car still looks like shit. Uh, but now, okay, so now we need to go to... A tiny test? What is this, what is this tiny test? Hey, Hoppy, like, look, I, I keep thinking, the way you're helping our friend here right now, seems positively helpful. I, seems like me, you're looking to turn a new leaf or something. The only thing I want to look at is a 12-year-old whiskey. And the back of Same. this preacher's head when I send them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. Same. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you? <laughs> I'll write my homework with my right hand and write Bust names with my touch. left. What I'm understanding. I'll take a is potato that you chip. Won't shut the hell up until and I eat it. this remnant. <laughs> yep. Fine. Stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait. Really? Oppie, darling, you never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis? Uh, y yes? How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> 80 years old and only getting sharper by the day. You're a legend. You're a role model. I'm giving you 10 seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay. Uh, we're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, and watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. The bunnies? What bunnies? Okay. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. Recently. The arc device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Ah. Drive into it. 
Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Oh my god! My life! I have to do this every run? I have to do this every run? That's so far away! Fuck it, dude. I'm just hitting trees. I don't care no more. guys we're back very easy oh, well, well. You're alive. very easy certain if the zone didn't get you that gateway would mm. did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing I mean they've been rodents, very like easy chat untested. But anyway it worked yeah so you should have made it back with everything you collected out there exactly that's the beauty of the gateway it's Thank the only way you. to get back with all your marbles intact. <laughs> now, uh, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so okay. bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Yeah, we're, we're clear, we're clear. Install the antenna on the roof. What the hell? Oh, there's a very convenient ramp here. They thought everything, guys. They knew I'd be on the roof so they built a nice little ramp. Just for me. So this is a safe zone, huh? Nothing bad can happen here. I I assume. Nice, it just, just deletes the garbage. Dude, Fortnite building. Fortnite battle pass. We're in business. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Fortnite battle pass. Okay, cool. Deposit collected paints and decals into the paint shelf. Into the paint shelf? Oh, dude! I got a Shuttle 7 and a decal radium driver. That's cool, right? That sounds cool. Yo! Look at that, guys. I'm glow in the dark. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, look at that shit. <laughs> look at children's bedroom. Dude, that's the last thing I wanted, but, you know, here we are. Oh, and there's a gas cylinder. Okay. So where's the, uh... Can I, like, d delete this? Can I, like, just commit it to memory? Deposit paints? I must have paints in my trunk, huh? Hand- oh, what the hell? Handbrake? I can't fit this in my hand. Install the handbrake in the engine bay. Okay. Did I mean to do that? Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Okay. Cool. So this is another- oh, there's a free crude panel and a crude bumper in here. In case I wanted it. Some free stuff, I'm gonna yoink him. I guess I don't need to yoink it necessarily per se. What is this? Hand vac? Using the same principles as domestic vacuum. It's a vacuum cleaner! What the fuck would I use that for? Cutesy car, thank you, I appreciate it. So, is this all the storage I got? Isn't this like two lockers? I got two lockers to work with, I guess. Between all my stuff. Oh, free stuff in this thing, too. Transfer trunk. 
transfer trunk. Anchors. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up oh. the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Cool, so I can get all my stuff in my trunk? And then, like, take it all, you know? Oh, that's a cute way to move items. Okay, let's let's do a little bit of uh, you know. I wish I wish the locker was like one space bigger. I I cannot believe this. Are you serious? Look at this. They made this locker to infuriate me. What the hell, man? This locker was made to make me mad. I guess. There's a wheel, right? Another thing. There's a wheel here. Take the wheel with me. I guess I might as well put the wheel in there. Okay, cool. So let's see. First aid kit. Repair putty. I think we're okay on repair putty. Okay, cool. And I guess put the flares in. Try to be a little bit organized. Maybe like blue on the bottom. We don't have that much stuff. What is this? Gas cylinder. They're not the same color. Cool. And then greens. Nice. These are kind of... Oh, we have so much glass. No, I have no use for glass. But we have a lot. Cool, man. Look at that. Uh, it looks kind of okay. What is this? Off-white. Oh, this is the paint. That's the paint. So can I just drop it? X to drop. Cool. So this can be here, right? This stays here, and then like whenever I need to move stuff, I'll just use the transfer trunk. Okay, what else is there? That's cool, so far. Let's see, this is like the, the tech tree. Matter deconstructor. Scrap metal, gears, electronics. Okay, it takes from my all of my lockers, doesn't it? Okay, that's really cool, that's nice. Let's deposit a paint to the paint, paint shelf. This guy, right? Uh, this is not paint, sorry. Where'd it go? I swear to God, I had it. It was in the trunk. Totally in here. What does the food do, huh? Canned food hold? Use canned food? Oh, that, he that actually does heal me. Okay, cool. Let's put the paint away. We have some off-white paint. There's like a thing in here. What the hell is this? This seems like, uh, you know, something I probably shouldn't touch. Nothing to lose. It's actually, this is like a pretty big map, too. How far can I go, actually? Does this lead anywhere? I feel like it leads nowhere. Oh, there's totally other stuff, right? Over here? There's totally other stuff. I guess it expands later on. Like, maybe I can get, like, a staircase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I get, like, a staircase later on to get up there. Because right now I can't get up there. I can try to jump up there from here, maybe. Yeah, so far it seems like I can't get up there, but there's definitely a building here, and that's one of the walls. I assume that's the wall for the... It, it's like the breached wall for the, uh, for this area. So, so far the lore goes as this. They made this, uh, experimental zone called the Olympic Exclusion Zone. And I guess it's supposed to be like, you know... Since, like, things can just happen in here, I guess, like, the idea was, like, you could just become a utopia by having everything you possibly could need. Steel panels. Abandoned car. Recommended scrapper. I mean, this looks like I should be dismantling this, no? This new car just appear, like, for me, ready for me to destroy every time. Okay, the auto shop, instability. Your route through zone will be stable when you set out, but 
don't st uh, won't stay long that way. Monitor the instrument attached to the map displayed in the passenger seat. They will help you track instability levels. If the levels are high, a storm is very likely. Some things you'll do in the zone will increase instability, but you can outrun it by moving along your route. Nevertheless, the zone's behavior isn't very always predictable. Uh, especially when you open a gateway, sometimes there's nothing to do but drive like hell. <laughs> Thank you, I, I felt that one, don't worry. Let's break it. Yoink. Steel sheets! Abandoned car. I mean, this is free mats, no? Thanks for stream, dude. Yeah, man. Thank you, Drubby. I appreciate you. Oh, wow. It's already full? This was already full? Okay, let's see if there's anything I can store in here. Okay, there's still more stuff I can store in here. There's some rubber ducks. Maybe I store them in different... I should probably store them in different drawers. That's probably smarter. But I'm not that smart. Let's store the materials in the outer drawer. Since likely we'll probably use this drawer more. So let's just... Let's store these out here. More, more likely than not, like, it will probably be out here, so... It's probably smarter to store the stuff here. I could use the transfer box, but I'm lazy. Sorry, chat. You watching the laziest streamer in the world? <laughs> uh. Okay, this is kind of cute. Blue, yellow, green, red. I mean, technically it should be down there, but... Yeah, let's move it. Quickly. Bam, look at that. And I guess, like, some lore can go up here. And then the other drawer can have the, the repair putty shit. So all the, the, the repair stuff can go in here. Steel sheets, I guess, can go in here too. A board flat section of this strong, light, and durable metal. Ideal for use in panels, doors, and other bodywork. That's cool. Okay, some scrap metals in here. Let's just put them down as well. Probably lazier. I mean, I felt that. Don't worry. You can't be that lazy. Comparative to me. Bam, look at that. And put some food here too, maybe. Okay, we're looking good, man. Okay, let's finish breaking this guy. Can't leave until we break this guy. This is a lot of steel, man. What if I come back here next time and there's a new car for us to break? Like, I'd be so sad if I didn't break his. Oh, E? C? Oh, free stuff. Why auto sort spacebar transfers non crafted items? You don't have to drag and drop much into this game at all. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I've been using spacebar mostly. I've been mostly using spacebar, but I'm still getting used to the other, other quick menu stuff as well. Just destroyed this computer as well. Transfer all crafted mats. Okay, cool. Let's see. Okay, so let's if I go like uh, here, I press Y. Transfer materials. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. I wish it didn't do that. Afterwards. <laughs> uh, I must have pressed the wrong button, because it did ruin my very good looking. Uh, just say Y again. Oh, I mean that's cool. I'll take it for now. So I guess it's better. I mean, it is probably efficient storage as well. Some cool stuff from the trash can. That's pretty cool, man. It just like does it all for me. Perfect for my lazy ass self. Anything else? Okay, this car is completely destroyed. I think. Cool. Let's see if we can craft some stuff. Because this car is looking a little bit beat up. I would love to, uh, you know. Let's fuel up real quick. We didn't actually use that much gas. We didn't actually use that much gas. 
Okay, let's see. Headlights. Oh, tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Okay. There's, like a, there's a checklist. Recommended driver's checklist. So it like tells you how to play the game. I healed, and now I need to probably make another headlight. So let's try to make another headlight. You also take the fuel pump directly to the gas tank in, in its goop, or place it on the floor and fill it. Okay, let's see. So I can goop it. What is the goop from? Like, this is a mysterious little goop guy. Okay, so it's already full. But if I if it wasn't full, I could do it there. That's cool. Headlight's in good condition, so I, I need to build a headlight. Let's try to craft a headlight here. Ah. Uh, okay, we can't craft a headlight. I, I assume I eventually we'll find, like, a headlight recipe. Which we don't have yet. Oh, here. Lights, crude headlight. There we go. Craft. Nice. Bam. Okay, headlights in good condition. Panels, doors, and bumpers installed. I must be missing something. Probably missing a panel somewhere. Oh, I'm missing a rear bumper. Let's craft a bumper. Bam. Okay, repair the car. I have some repair putty. In the other thing. So take out the repair putty. Don't wait. Don't waste your putty. Okay. I guess I don't need to always. I guess I don't, I don't need to always uh, do this every time. It's fine, right, guys? A little scratch never hurt nobody. A little scratch never hurt nobody, so it's all good. Cost scrap when the materials need to make new putty. It costs less scrap than materials needed to make new putty. Okay, I see. So, putty is expensive, actually, right? Let me see. Carbureted engine. Ooh. Copper wires, gas cylinders, steel sheets. Oh, I can get some more steel sheets and make this maybe soon. In the future. So, let's see. Putty, re repair putty. Takes scrap metal, plastic, glass shards, chemicals. I, I, it doesn't seem like a lot right now, but I assume, like, later on, it probably, like, adds up. And I don't want to waste... Probably don't want to waste that shit, huh? That's pretty cool, okay? Okay, let's see. So far, so good. What is a battery jumper? I need, actually, I need to make one? Hmm. However, your steel driver door, hood, headlights, anything above a spare tire is worth putting at the moment? Okay, cool. So, like... My, st I mean, this, st these steel panels that I have, the two, like the three steel panels I have that I own, probably worth it, huh? Everything else, like this scrap shit, probably nasty and worthless. I can just make a new one. Yeah, it, it doesn't take too much to make a new one. It's the chemicals that are required to make the the putty that seem expensive. It seems like putty is, I mean, the chemicals are kind of rare compared to other stuff. Because gears can be craftable, and scrap metal is, like, everywhere, it seems. The chemical bottleneck is real. Yeah, I assume other stuff will also... Oh, my God. There's, like, 7,000 things to, to to check out here. Let's do a little bit of reading, actually. Let's do a little reading, and then we'll just uh, we'll probably call it after some reading. Because there's a lot to get through. Zone conditions. Whenever you make it through unusual conditions or suddenly shift a zone, your logbook will update with information about just about anything. Study these entries carefully. Cool. I won't. Use the map on the wall of the auto shop zone. Plan your next drive. Along each route, you'll find different resources and face strange hazards. Make sure to choose your path carefully. Choose between revisiting known junctions to gather more resources, try new courses deeper into the zone, or taking investigative drives to uncover the story behind why you're here. Okay, so there's some zones that are like lore zones, I guess. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? Nine hours, three. So these I'm are like you easy. To visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams. And we can I said, do they want here. me to go here? With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. I see. You've so got I, a stable I've... route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I, so I, I advise uh, you not to take the zone lightly. Copy. You better gear up, or you may not survive the trip. 
which would make my life easier. So, your call. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I so I just did E five. I just did E five just now. So this is this is something I recognize. So if I go back to E five, it's the same ish map, right? So I can gather resources again, and these are all other zones that I can explore that don't have to do with the story yet. But this green marker says where the next part of the story is. Is that what I'm understanding? So far? Let's see, what else? Movement, interactions, you, you, you can run, crouch, jump, okay, I see. Quick toolbars, okay, we, we got quick toolbars. Surviving the zone, while you're driving through the zone, exploration is essential, if you get lost, check the maps. I kinda wanna see, like, where the, uh, there was those dudes. Is there a way to see, like, it's like a, a bestiary? Decals. Oh, okay, you can undercover decals too. Radium driver. That's cool. Locker. Scanning antenna. Is there like a, a bestiary? Statuses. Loose wheel. Essential. Sometimes dumpster knows best. The friendly dumpster won't be your best pal in all zones. If it wasn't heading out things that it thinks you really, really need. Things you definitely, certainly should keep in order to safely make it through the next. Oh, okay, I see. So, heart means really good. Heart means really good. Third tab from the left. Tourist. Oh, that's the fucking guy in the, that I scanned. Dictaphone recording office of Dr. Richard Preble, circa 1976. Hi, Christina. Hey, how are you? So, um, it turns out you were you're right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now that they're... All very similar. We have these dummy things out there in the wilderness, and uh, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We have them in gas stations, on the roads, on top of signs. One report here says on the roof. We spotted about 600 now. The fuck? These, these damn tourists. Get out of my, get out of my zone. Go back to your country. <laughs> oh, God. The file catalogs each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about the other things too uh, yeah I know what happens when someone touches one we all got plenty of data on that so uh, I'm going to apply for a position in Portland now and I've done my review it's a great time being contracted here for for sure but I, I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full time you know it's uh, very strange here you work in a very strange place I'm sure you're doing very important work and I respect that greatly but I think I'd like to go back to the academia now. Oh god, there's one of them outside. No, for a fact, it wasn't there before. End of EOF. End of facts? Wow, okay, so I guess... Don't touch them, guys. They appear while you're here and you shouldn't be touching them. I assume I die if I touch them. Or if I can take massive damage. Glittering boulders. Transmission Fragment, Arda Dispatch Headquarters, April 26th, 1964. Hey, hey, this is uh, Anna. Uh, to I'm totally going so fast right now. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's happening again. Just uh, collect some data from the weather state. Oh, no. <laughs> These new things out there. Oh, help. If you touch them, then you uh, hold the hunt. It's, it's drugs. I'm not an engineer or a physicist, I'm a meteorologist, but my, my guess is these things are discharging huge amounts of energy into whatever they touch. And when they hit a car, you totally go so fast. So it like, it time, it, it's weed. It's a weed boulder. I didn't get close enough to scan one of those fucking, I assume those are the bunnies they talk about. Which, uh, I, they don't look like bunnies at all, but... Dude, can you imagine just, like, finding weed rock, like, out in the wilderness? Lab computers. Oh, they, they all have lore attached to them. Hello? Is this the office of Dr. Turner? Uh, no, no, the other Dr. Turner. That doesn't matter. I have good news, best news. Uh, we have the best news. We're going to build the wall. <laughs> the best news. This guy talks like Trump. 
your newest computers are up and running. We did it. And these powerhouses are going to be absolutely blow you away. We got some of the world's best discrete RTL based integrated circuits with a central processing unit running at one of yada yada CPU, high CPU, good megahertz, all the yeah, whatever. I hate CPU nerds. Private field notes Dr. AF Kingi, data unknown. As we continue to explore vi viable energy sources in the increasingly unstable uh, environment, that is the zone, we've began testing the first handheld plasma containment devices. This is handheld? It's huge! A zone plagued with radiation, instability, electromagnetic interference, and many yet unexplained phenomena, any infrastructure created for energy transmission has proven to be all but useless. Hence, our investigation into the potential of charged and even magnetized plasma, studying both the conductive and capacitive qualities of the samples we've contained. Plasma would likely be far more efficient than the diesel and gasoline we've been produced for haul. So, cars are running on some dog shit. I guess if eventually in the future, we can get our car running on plasma instead. Because apparently diesel and gas is inefficient. Okay, cool. If the latest technology research from the Lim Tech team is to be believed, we may soon have a way to make it just as portable. We await updates from Dr. Acid as she files a report for Birkeland Currents. Art of management are keen for us to test this technology in the field as soon as possible, yada yada. Cool. Abandoned cars. This is the abandoned car we just scanned. I guess I'm saying that all we know is obvious by now. But all vehicles, all moving collections of metal, really, seem to attract the attention of a great many anomalies. They get chased, they get attacked, for whatever reason, they get picked apart. I guess aircrafts move... Aircraft move too fast, or maybe helicopters aren't around for too long enough, but cars? This place and its wildlife just love cars. Sorry, what? Okay, correction, it's not wildlife. Wh what? Why? And gender? And gender, are you still here? <laughs> and gender sympathy? Look, I'm only repeating what others say. No, I don't think it's bad to say this is over the radio. It's not like over transmissions ever even travel anywhere these days. It's like trying to broadcast through molasses or something. I can be on top of a mountain and still get no damn reception. Trust me, nobody outside the zone can hear us. Interesting. So... It seems, it seems like so far what I'm getting at from the ba from the bare minimum of the uh, the zone. They made this zone as a, like a way to like you know create the future of America. Because, like, whatever in the zone can just happen, right? So it's like, in the zone, shit just appears and disappears. You can just, like, uh, materialize whatever you need. So technically, it's like a utopia. You know, if they could perfect this technology, you could just, like, spawn in what you, whatever you need, right? Like, I guess that's the point. But I'm guessing, uh... I'm guessing they weren't able to control it that well. So they just sectioned off and countered as, like, a... A failed experiment. It's like that one. It's like that one movie, The Shimmer. You know that one movie where like they made this other zone, and then like inside the zone, like shit just propagates, and then they send a team of people inside. Th that's what it kind of reminds me of. And like inside, like people just turn into plants and shit. And like there's like an entity in there that like, wants to take over the world, and it just keeps expanding. Yes, you know what movie I'm talking about. So what is this charging station? No, yeah, okay. Some people don't. Let's pack a putty. So putty is necessary to pack, right? It's like you, in case your car breaks down halfway through, you want to have some putty. Okay. And then let's see. Scrapper, fuel can, good. Battery jumper. Some road flares as well. Where the fuck are my road flares? I don't know things to be fair. Same, don't worry. Can I just grab one? I don't want to grab seven. Can I just grab one? <laughs> uh, 
uh, is there a control click? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm grabbing seven. There's no like, uh, like cut in half button. Shift? No. Control? No. <laughs> I guess I guess I'm just grabbing all seven. Lamau? Okay, that's cool. And then I guess in here we'll put a first aid kit. So the scrapper and the okay impact hammer. I guess I should probably get a new one, or a, I I can make a new one, right? Just quickly make a new one while we're here. Battery jumper probably important. Let's make one as well, and then we need also an impact hammer. Make a cool little gear real quick. Okay, we do want a second impact hammer just in case, because the first one kind of like is about to die. And I guess that should be it, huh, guys? That should be everything. Okay, cool. Coolio. That's sick. And then this one will progress the story. Let's see, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock? I might... I think it's time for me to, uh... It's time for me to probably, uh, take a break for now. But that's... It's been a cool session, guys. I've been very... You know... Love playing this game so far been pretty sick. I next time when I start earlier in the game, we can go for much more. So we'll pick this up next time. I heard the story. I heard the story uh is about 11 to 12 hours and then I think so here's what they told me. Here's what they told me, guys. The story is about 12ish hours and then there is also seemingly like 30 hours ish worth of 30 hours-ish worth of, uh, like, extra exploration content as well. Like, different maps. So, that's really cool. There's a lot of content apparently in this game. And you can just, like, you know, deck out your car. So, like, part of the game is exploration, and the other part of the game is, like, finding upgrades for your car. Because right now our car looks like dog shit, okay? I'll be honest. I mean, other than the, the front, you know, this cool little decal. And this cool little decal. The rest of our car looks like shit. I won't, I won't lie to you, I'll be honest. So, I'm assuming eventually with time, you get like, you know, cool, better gear and better tech and these abandoned cars, you can just get materials. And the, f the friendly dumpster as well. Ooh. Th thank you. Thanks, man. Just, you, you know, shitting out shit for me. Love the dude, friendly dumpster. Love the friendly dumpster. Uh, can I break this open? I need a crowbar. Hold on. Wonder where this goes. Oh, this just opens. This door did nothing. <laughs> I crafted that and built, broke the door open for no reason. It literally, dude, what? This door serves zero purpose. You serve zero purpose. You not realize, dude? I, th I thought maybe there's another room, man. You never know. Okay, this is where I drove in from. Okay, there's still, like, much to explore, it seems. And the story is kind of interesting. Like, how do, how we got here and, like, the, the story of the zone. So, like... I assume... I assume these other zones will have, like, lore, right? So, like, the main story is, like, how we got here, some stuff about the zone, and also how to get out. Oh, these are the bunnies. You can see them. There's bunnies over here. I kind of don't want to fuck with the bunnies. But we, we're going to have to eventually. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to... I guess as you go in, the more corrupt the zone gets. So we're kind of still on the outskirts of the zone. Yo! Yo, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And then these other zones, probably other areas you can explore for loot and, you know, like crafting materials and stuff like that. And then also finding other world building lore. So there's a lot to like uncover, even like outside of the main story. Probably like, you know, more in depth lore about like the. about the zone itself. I think it's really cool, actually. 
in the logbook. Like, it, you know, even like stuff, even random stuff you scan, you know? Like, I just scanned a random, like, abandoned car, and then they give me a little bit of lore about, you know... Like, somebody had something to say about abandoned cars. Obviously, these, like, you know, basic items, there's no, like, other flavor text. But, like, there's, like, flavor text in, like, half the stuff in the world. And I, look, there's, like, five different kinds of tires I have to get to unlock. Probably, like, really good, like, late-game tires. Different kinds of engines. Arc docks, you know, handbrakes, different utility gear, sh different materials, refined materials. Look at all this stuff you can get for your base. Dude, I, that is my favorite, guys. Oh. That is my favorite. Is It's it's like kind of like the, I don't want to say like Souls-like writing, but I think the, the Souls series like kind of like really, really did that part well. Which is like flavor in random items that don't mean anything, you know? Or like, I scan a computer, it doesn't do anything except provide me scrap. But there's like some, some extra shit. Employees only? Is there a code? Oh, there's an access code. <laughs> it's, okay, I guess you didn't give me the code yet. Once Oppie trusts me enough, she'll give me the code for that room, probably. And then I can go off. But yeah, this whole roof... It seems this whole roof can... You can play stuff in this whole roof. So eventually, there's probably gonna be more stuff I can craft. And then, like, in the garage, there's something going on in there, too. In this area, probably, like, some kind of, like, upgrade system. The friendly dump... the dumpster? Anything else, buddy? Thank you. I'm just f I just get free stuff, man. Yeah, dude. It's this. It's the kind of world building that I really, uh, that I really like, which is like, stuff just happens in the world. Like I'm the newcomer, right? And instead of exposition dumping me like about everything in the world, like everyone in the world just takes the stuff that happens as fact, and like nobody else is confused. Except for me, right? So it's like, I, it's up to me to discover, like, why things are. Like, nobody explained to me why the dumpster talks to me. And, like, shits out shit for me. Everyone just accepts the, just what the dumpster does. And this stuff, can, like, 3D printing stuff, let's see. Matter deconstructor. Energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical. And probably even ethical? The matter deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. Do be careful not to get your hand caught in the suspension matrix. Expanded locker stuff. Okay, integrated thermosap heat sinks allows the antenna to be active multiple times before it reheating. That's just me on the dumpster. Hey, welcome in, good to see you. <laughs> Thank you for providing me free gear. I like it when, yes, you are the main character, but only, if, yeah, exactly, right? It's like, everyone else already knows what's going on. Like, I'm the MC playing the game. But, like, everyone else just sees me as, like, oh, a, a new guy that just popped up. Like, you ain't nobody, right? You're just some stupid guy who got caught. Spider-Man thing with fall, welcome in. Curious, this frequency analyzer, an extractor machine, shouldn't have received anything. Is he even hooked up to the phone lines? Athletic simulation. I get a free, I can get, like, a, a hoop. Deco vent? Fish tank! At the end? At the end of the technology tree. At the end of the day, the most advanced upgrade. The fish tank. Basically the same level of uh, upgrade as the repair station, which sounds really important. You can also get a fish tank, which sounds uh, also very important. Analysis module. This is the tinker machine that allows a second chip, which allows you to spend anchor energy to participate, uh, to part to, uh, partially diagnose any quirk. Any quirk. So I guess, like, you know, like, disease? This one has dice on it. Okay, cool. Scamba? Me when I gamba? Parts lockers. Stores a part per locker in this grid to make tripping over discarded bumpers and stubbing your toes on spare things a thing of the past. 
Oh, these are like locker upgrades, I see. Pneumatic locker. Upgrade one of your lockers to make use of extraordinary amounts of underground storage space. Ah. That's cool. So, so far, I think it's pretty interesting. Like, okay, so this remnant shit. Okay. This remnant shit is pretty interesting. They said that, like, every once in a while, a breacher comes in here. And, like, a remnant attaches themselves to the breacher. So, like, remnants are, like, objects in the world that kind of, like, I don't know if they're sentient or what. But, like, they end up holding some significance to the breacher. And usually something... Something ha- like, it's usually something, like, mundane. Maybe it's, like, a- a- like a- like a piece of clothing, or, like, a broom, or a gun- a gun, or something like that? Like, some everyday object that you normally carry, right? But for some reason, our remnant is, like, a car? Which is, like, I- I suppose, like, very, very special? Because nobody else in the world has a car? They're like, oh my god, this guy has a car? Not really a spoiler, but a microwave that freezes. Somebody got a microwave that freezes as a remnant. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, so our remnant is a car. Seems to be like a rare one, you know, like we got some SSR remnant. Because the two guys, Tobias, I think, and Francis were very shocked. And this is Oppie's shop as well for cars. And something about cars, right? It's like, uh... The, the enemies, like the, the machines, the wildlife machines here, like they love cars. Which I don't want to kind of tangle with at all. The, it, was, it was just floating boys. Only downstairs it drives you insane. I mean, listen guys. Out of all the things, all the, out of all the remnants, if they all gonna drive you insane, at least this one also drives me around. Huge brain. It drives me more than one way. Which is more than I can say about a fucking microwave that freezes. That's pretty interesting so far. I think what's also... What I also want to know is like where everybody is. You know? Because... Like where... The fuck is everybody? And this is Oppie's shop. But like where the fuck is she? Right? I assume maybe she's like in the like deeper in the zone because it seems to be like radios can't enter radios can't really enter the zone from outside and inside can only like talk to inside so they must be inside the zone somewhere and according to this map here it seems like this is a dark zone with no like nobody can see here so probably no one's been there there's a couple gas stations that are, you know, that are marked on the shop. This one has an eye. So maybe if we go this way down here to this area, we'll eventually also get to some more lore stuff. There's one over here as well, which is like pretty far out actually. A couple bunnies along the way. Dark, yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like I need like some other gear to be able to function there. It's like, you know, going far out. Like for instance, right? Like going here, six hours away. Like, the, the amount of distance away from the, the base probably tells you how the difficulty... Like, over here, this is nine hours. Probably the hardest map we have. This one is six hours away. A little bit harder than the, th the three hours away, guys. But still, like, very, very cool. I might just, like, do some of these in my own time because, you know... They probably, like, mainly just, like, walking around and not really that much lore. And then I'll just, like, keep the lore for when we... Oh, wait, there's not difficulty? It, maybe the number is? Something, something... Klim for gateway. One Klim for Oh, it's like how many Klims it takes to open the gateway? Is that what it means? Interesting. I, I guess we'll be able to, like, you know... Figure out... A bunch of the difficulty stuff and everything else. As time goes on, as we get better scanners. Because currently our scanner is, like, pretty shitty, right? But it seems to be you have some... See, top right in brown, it's... Top right in brown, it's 12. Oh, the, the, the in-game time actually matters! Oh, 
Oh. So like when I get there, so when I get there, it'll be 9 a.m. And then I guess like it's uh, if I go there at the uh, at, at different times, like the the day and night will be, you know, flipped. I mean, yeah, at 12. This is midnight, right? This is midnight. So I guess the the time is reversed. So I guess at noon it'll be dark. If this is midnight? That's crazy. The Remnant Experiment is the next quest line. That That's really cool, man. Holy shit. Okay, you can see, I guess, like some... Let me see. So there's low... Low chance of storm. There's an okay threat level. Low radiation. Low thunder, whatever. Okay thunder. Low gas, there's a good amount of cars, low amount of houses. So as you can see, you can kind of see like the breakdown of the resources as well and like the threat levels in the root analysis. So I guess, like that's also an indicator of how difficult it is. If like all the, if the root analysis is like high chance of storms or like, you know, like uh, high th enemies or whatever, like you, or high radiation, you have to like watch out a little bit and like bring gear appropriate for that location. But like, for instance, this place that's nine hours away has high amount of cars and like some good amount of houses. So like a lot of like scrap metal, probably. When you use your antenna to select the location, it'll give you much more detail about it, which is why you pick up your end spot here and now you're... Ah, I see. This is pretty sick so far. And then as you explore this, like, it branches out more, right? It's like, this location will lead to here, but maybe there's another location. Oh, this is the outer wall. Okay, never mind. But if I, if I go here, right, then maybe some locations open up here and here. And, like, if I go here, it'd be, like, here and here. And then I can go to the gas station. So it, it branches out. I guess eventually you're going to make your way into the, into the deep part. And this part probably is, like, the big danger. Like, the deeper you get in, the bigger the danger. Because it's like the zone expands outward, right? So this is the first... This is like the first part of the zone. The first part of the experiment. And then like as time went on, the zone kept on expanding. And so they kept on having to section off more and more area. And now like we're here. So technically this part of the zone is the weakest like radiation part or whatever. And that is the original zone that they... They had. Each time you warp spot from spot when there's no connection, you open up once the closest spots. I see, yeah. That makes sense. That's what I assumed as well. But pretty cool. I might do a few of them, like, you know, offline as well, just so we can get lore. And then I'll, we'll read the lore together, you know. I, I won't, like, spoil myself or whatever. But some of these locations might just be only farming spots. And if they're only farming spots, you know... I don't want to spend 30 hours farming on stream. I'd rather spend, like, most of my time on stream, like, progging story. But this is really sick, man. This is really sick. Okay, we'll definitely continue on next time, though. Save the game. Saving the game. Fantastic. You've helped the map one way or another, but I won't spoil it. Fantastic. Yeah, please don't spoil, like, the story or anything like that. Because we'll, we'll find out together. We just saved. We just saved. So, that is it. Pacific Drive, guys. That has been the first cool little episode of Pacific Drive. Let me quit out real quick. So we can die, uh, you know, just... Uh, it won't lag my camera no more. Uh, dude, uh, yeah, that was fun. Hopefully you guys had fun, guys. Hopefully you guys had fun playing together with me here for Pacific Drive. Definitely we'll be playing that more next week as well. Uh, to pr try Prog Story and finish the game. Might take us a few streams. Maybe we'll make it a weekly so people can just, like, you know, tune in the same days. So we don't, like, you know, we don't lose nobody, but... So far, so so good. Fantastic. Hopefully you guys had fun. I I think that game is, has a lot of potential. I'm dude, there's a lot of cool games, man. And Steam Next Fest provided us with so many like really, really good ones. I'm happy to, you know. I'm happy to find them. Dude, I can't wait, man. I can't wait for to finish this game, see the story. Also, like next Next Fest is gonna be like middle of summer. So we get to see some cool stuff there as well. Bam, yeah, man, that's going to be it for today, guys.
cool little four hour piece, three and a half hour piece. Don't want to go too, too long because, you know, we all get tired of what, you know, even watches get tired too. So we'll give everyone a break as well. Thank you for dropping by everyone. I appreciate you. Thank you also for the raid from Hiragi Yu as well. I love to have you guys over. If you're here from their stream, please, you know, send me their, uh, send uh, them my kind regards next time you see them. And I hope you enjoy your time here as well. Guys, if you're new here, please do consider the follow. We'll be continuing Pacific Drive uh, soon, TM. And uh, some other cool stuff as well. We're kind of like the super variety guy at this point. <laughs> Oh god. One day I'll pick a game to, you know, to main, but uh, that day might be TFT, which will be the darkness in me. <laughs> you know, the, the worst timeline. Good to see you today, and hopefully we'll see you guys next week as well. Schedule for next week will be up probably tomorrow, either tonight or tomorrow, depending. I might just be spending $200 on a koi pond next month. You never know. But, uh, you know... April is a cool little month, guys. But that's uh, around the corner. But until then, guys, uh, I appreciate you guys, okay? Please check out the socials. Twitter.com, you know. Uh, I was supposed on YouTube shorts as well. Cool little stuff on YouTube. We are streaming on YouTube. If you missed the VOD, you can catch the VOD here or on YouTube as well. YouTube VOD is going to be up as well. So do not worry. That'll be endless, timeless, a classic, and we will see you guys next time, okay? So until then, I will see you guys on the flip side, okay? Peace. Peace be peace. Late. Okay, this, the ending song didn't play. That's really cool. Uh, There we go.